Hello everyone, I am Dr. Dhanaji Sambhaji Zato, Assistant Professor, Department of Statistics, Ishwantara Chawan, Institute of Science, Satara. Welcome to all in BSc, third year, semester 5, course of statistics. Initially, we will look at unit number 1, Univariate Continuous Probability Distribution of paper 9. Paper name is Probability Distributions first. Now, start with the first distribution is the Laplace distribution. Laplace distribution is also called a Laplace distribution is also called a double exponential distribution. Double exponential distribution. The definition of distribution is a continuous random variable x is a set to follow double exponential distribution or a Laplace distribution with parameter mu and lambda with parameter mu and lambda if its PDF is given by PDF form is f of x is equal to lambda by 2 e raised to minus lambda modulus of x minus mu support set of x or range is minus infinity to infinity lambda is greater than or equal to 0 and mu also lies between minus infinity to infinity 0 otherwise you know very well 0 otherwise means rather than the value of the x that is minus infinity to infinity for any value of x you get a, this function value is a 0 that is means if you consider the uh, imaginary values then you get the value of this function is a 0 the in the pdf the most important part is that modulus of x minus mu you must be concentrated on that modulus of x minus mu for the some remarks random variable x follows double exponential distribution is denoted by x follows double exponential over the parameter mu lambda and also it is denoted by or x follows laplace distribution over the parameter mu and lambda here mu is the location parameter and lambda is a scale parameter location parameter determine the location of or shift of distribution and scale parameter is a special kind of numerical parameter of a parametric family of probability distribution the, the larger value of scale parameter the more spread spread out the distribution so uh, for understanding the what is uh, effect of location and scale parameter you consider the just the example uh, that it means normal 0 1 what do you call the standard normal distribution and other one is a normal mu sigma square or you take just a random value 2 and 2 okay this is the mu is a location here mu is a location here 0 you know uh, what is the distribution graph Graphical, uh, graphical presentation of the standard normal distribution the picked point is at a mu is equal to 0 and in normal 2 2 the picked point is at a mu is equal to 2 that means it shifted the location also you observe that uh, the value of variance is 1 in the standard normal distribution so the spread of graph is not much as compared to the spread of the graph of normal 2 2 that is means variance is here 2 so you clearly understand what is meant by location and what is meant by scale location is affected on a shift of shift of distribution and scale is affected on a spread out of distribution third one is when mu is equal to 0 and lambda is equal to 1 the double exponential distribution is known as the standard double exponential distribution known as a standard double exponential distribution and its pdf is f of x you just put the value of lambda is equal to 1 and uh, mu is equal to 0 in this pdf you get the standard uh, double exponential distribution so 1 by 2 e raised to minus modulus of x and x lies between minus infinity to infinity Another form of the distribution is the PDF of double exponential distribution with parameter mu and lambda is also written as a f of x is equal to just to we change the scale parameter. So what we get 1 upon 2 lambda 
e raised to minus lambda is replaced by 1 by lambda that is means modulus of x minus mu divided by lambda the support set sim minus infinity x infinity mu also lies between infinity and lambda must be greater than 0 lambda is must be greater than 0 so these are the some remarks related to the double exponential distribution the nature of nature of curve of the double exponential distribution with parameter mu and lambda is as the form of the as like normal curve it is a symmetric curve but as we consider the peak is a higher peak than the normal this is the value of the here the center value is a mu this is the function you get the value of that corresponding value is minus infinity here is infinity and this is a function value so this is the nature of curve of a double exponential distribution the curve of double exponential distribution is a symmetric about ordinate at x is equal to about x is equal to mu symmetric about x is equal to mu it attains the maximum value at x is equal to mu and decreases exponentially on both sides this is the exponential curve is decreasing on a both side so next one is the pdf of double exponential distribution can also be written as a in a separation form f of x is equal to lambda by 2 e raised to lambda into x minus mu for x is less than mu and other one is value is lambda by 2 e raised to minus lambda x minus mu for x is greater than or equal to mu why this one is the reason is that if we consider x is less than mu which is implies that x minus mu is less than 0 that is means modulus of x minus mu which is equal to minus of x minus mu these two values are equally because the x minus mu is a negative 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 positive that is modulus of x minus mu and in other case where x is greater than or equal to mu which is implies that x minus mu which is greater than or equal to 0 that is means modulus of x minus mu which is equal to x minus mu so in case of x minus mu here minus x minus mu and minus lambda is cancelled there from lambda into x minus mu and in case of x is greater than or equal to mu you get minus lambda into x minus mu so this is the justification for that values i think you got it on this now second one is the prove the value of uh, fx is a pdf so uh, for the justifying pdf we require prove two properties first one is the fx is greater than or equal to zero for all values of x that is for a support set and the second one is the uh, integral over the over the range or support set of fx must be equal to one so satisfying these two conditions we let fx is equal to lambda by 2 e raised to minus lambda modulus of x minus mu lies between infinity to in minus infinity to infinity lambda is greater than 0 mu also lies between minus infinity to infinity and 0 otherwise that is means first one property is true so we can write fx is greater than or equal to 0 for support set x is less between minus infinity to infinity now for doing the second one take the 
integral over the range of fx dx must be is equal to we want 1 so calculated uh, directly lambda by 2 is a constant taken outside the integral integral over the minus infinity to infinity e raised to minus lambda modulus of x minus mu dx now by using the integral rule this integral is separated into two parts that is minus infinity to mu and the second one is a mu to infinity so we can write integral over the minus infinity to mu lambda by 2 is constant e raised to minus lambda x minus mu dx plus integral over the mu to lambda Here, lambda by 2 is also constant outside the integral e raised to minus lambda modulus of x minus mu dx now as per previous we see that uh, modulus of x minus mu for the x is less than mu and modulus of x minus mu for the x is greater than equal to mu what do we get just another thing just in first integral what do we get x is less than mu which is implies that x minus mu is less than 0 which is implies that modulus of x minus mu which is also equal to minus of x minus mu why x minus mu is negative therefore negative negative positive and in second integral x is greater than equal to mu x is greater than equal to mu which is implies that x minus mu which is greater than equal to 0 which is implied that modulus of x minus mu which is equal to x minus mu so further we can write the integral part minus infinity to infinity fx dx which is equal to lambda by 2 integral minus infinity to mu and for that first integral we can put modulus of x minus mu is equal to minus x minus mu and minus minus getting positive that is e raised to lambda into x minus mu dx plus lambda by 2 integral over the mu to infinity e raised to minus lambda x minus mu dx so to solve the integral value we take substitution let y is equal to x minus mu which is implied that x is equal to mu plus y let substitute y is equal to x minus mu which is implied that x is equal to mu plus y where x is equal to minus infinity which is gives y is equal to also minus infinity if x is equal to mu then y is equal to 0 x is equal to infinity which y is also is equal to infinity so whenever you put the value then must be change the limit of corresponding integral integral over the minus infinity to infinity fx dx which is equal to lambda by 2 integral now limit is changes what minus infinity to 0 e raised to lambda y because we are substituted x minus mu is equal to y dy plus lambda by 2 integral over 0 to infinity e raised to lambda by dy we can directly integral we get lambda by 2 integration of e raised to lambda by is e raised to lambda by upon lambda minus infinity to 0 lambda by 2 
e raised to minus lambda by y divided by minus lambda because of here the coefficient of y is minus lambda so same term is in a division and 0 to infinity after substituting the limits we get either directly by putting 0 1 by lambda minus 0 because e raised to minus infinity 0 plus lambda by 2 here also you get infinity minus infinity 0 minus minus 1 by lambda because of minus is here present so finally you get 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 so from 1 and 2 we conclude that it is a pdf hence fx is pdf